Hey guys, what's up? It's CH and welcome back to video number 39. I hope all you guys are doing well. All right, so now we have both tables that we made in our database, information and pages now performing dynamically. So go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back, but don't get too comfortable because the show has got to go on. But right now we do have a content management system where we could go ahead and pull data from our database. So remember our, let's go to localhost right now. I'm going to create a new tab and just type in localhost up here at the top. And let's run an example so we can see how our content management system is going to work when we pull in a category field. Let's come down here to PHP My Admin. It always opens up in another tab, which I do not like, but what are you going to do? And let's go to our database, Sterling, and let's look at our table called Pages. And I want to go ahead and pull this information in here right now, that the category field that we called content. Remember we set it up where we can have unlimited characters. And uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just close this out right now. And let's go back to our content.php page. And I'm down here looking at our if else statement. So okay, this is where it's going to echo our second menu or our pages menu. So I want to include some PHP code and maybe some HTML code as well. So I'm going to go ahead and drop down a line and I don't really need to add CSS because the default font and character, or the font size and the color should be okay. But actually I will create some CSS just for maybe another video down the road or can never hurt. Okay, so let's go ahead and close out our div tag and I'll just go ahead and call this I don't know, page content or page content. That's cool. Even though we don't have any CSS attributes for this right now, we can go ahead and add it on in later. So I'll drop down another line so you guys could see it more clearly. If that's a word, more clearly. Is that the correct? Whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead and source this in now. So I'm going to go ahead and give it some PHP tags. I'm going to move. Nope. What just happened? Never mind that. Sorry about that. Ugh. Okay. So, oh, I apologize. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on different lines. Let's drop it down. And what do I want to put in here? I'm going to go ahead and echo our, what was it called? Table 2, our second line. And let's go ahead and index our category field of content now. And let's run this and see if it outputs into our browser. Okay, so let's go ahead and save it. And I'm gonna go back to our browser now. I'm gonna go back to our category page. Now when we click on one of our menu items on pages, we should get that content to appear right here. So cross your fingers. Nope, it did not work. Let me pause the video. Okay, welcome back. And I found the problem. The problem is I, I did not declare the correct variable. The table, or the variable that we want to declare is called table2 and then we're going to index our category field of content in just like that. So let's go ahead and save it. Now let's reload it and voila. Okay, our mission statement is if you practice PHP for one hour a day for three months you will be a PHP legend and I strongly stand by that. About Village Park, this is the history of Village Park. New PHP video. New PHP video will help you learn PHP better. Okay, so you can see how our CMS is coming together perfectly. So good luck with this, and I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video.